hi everyone welcome back to healing days oracle or welcome if you're new today we have your week ahead reading the next seven days whenever you're watching this just a quick advice here for what's going on in your life what can you do or avoid also extra cards here for your love life and your career as well if you're new consider subscribing all my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my etsy shop the crystals you see in front of you and there's much more there i do have jewelry manifestation bags i do have another etsy for my decks i do create some oracle decks as well and they are there if you want to become a patron of this channel as well i do have six different levels that you can connect with me or a membership in this channel and we do have a special patrons membership only lives and i do read live for you so check that if you're interested Today we have three options, group one with the green witch tarot, group two with the wizard's tarot, group three with the everyday witch tarot. It is the Halloween weekend when you're watching this, so I hope you're enjoying the Halloween, the sound season, and uh, we will continue with the witch you know, vibe here, and that's why you still have the witch uh, tarot here for you. So I hope you enjoy that. And as always, all my links will be below if you want to, to have any of these cards for yourself, all the links will be there for any ways for you to support this channel or connect with me in some ways. Again, group one, the green witch, group two, the wizards, tarot, and the group three, everyday witch. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose the green witch tarot, we start with your week ahead or the next seven days whenever you're watching this. Monday, Tuesday. And if you hear any rain noise, you guys, that, not rain noise, it's because it's raining very much now. So, Monday, Tuesday, King of Atomus. Wednesday, Thursday, or halfway through the week here, whenever you're watching this. Six of Atomus. The weekend, or the last of your seven days, whenever you're watching. Eight of Pentacles. We're gonna get extra cards here for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. We'll see that in a bit. For your career, money, finances, whether you're working or not. Also, any advice of the week for you. And I'm gonna get extra cards at the end as well. But just to start with these guys, you see here, you do have Queen of Atomus, which is the Queen of Swords, Six of Atomus, Eight of Pentacles. So it really feels like a week that you are stepping out into mind over emotions, stepping away from dramas, anything that was maybe difficult to communicate. This is a week of stepping into that power and communicating, cutting away what's not serving. Really step into your power here, being very straightforward. You have to even be a bit careful with the Queen of Atomus because she can hurt with her words as well. But it comes from honesty, it comes from the place of having to be honest, to resolve things, to manifest things. So it feels like you're very focused, you know what you have to do and you get it done and uh, organizing as well because the Queen of Atomus can organize cutting away what's not serving, not wasting time. Again, he is stepping away from dramas. So anything that could have been dramas or overthinking or stress, this is a week of really focus here because you have, I feel like a list of things to do and you could be busy, but you are achieving here what you want. And if you want to communicate with someone as well, if you are holding back on something, this is a week that you can reach out, communicate, and you will be heard as well. So it feels like you open up here doors for communication. Also halfway through the week with the six of atomists, I feel like it's a lot of learning. Some of you could be moving, specifically moving houses, moving jobs, moving something in your life, something it's taking some kind of momentum here. And it could be moving to calmer waters. Maybe you had some difficult times, harder times, and it feels like you're taking with you your lessons. You are learning here. You're taking that with you. It's a good thing, but you are moving. You're moving here towards the sun, light at the end of the tunnel. So it feels like it could have been hard times, challenges, but you know, you're evolving with everything. So I feel like you take your lessons, you know why you had to go through this situation and you keep evolving. Again, with the energy of communication, honesty, cutting away what's not serving. So it could be something specific here in your you know, communication here with others that was not serving. And you're straightforward, you are focused here to resolve this. It feels like you get, a, you know, towards the end of the week here, some money blessings, eight of pentacles, your hard work here being paid back you could be getting money back you know, and it could be specifically getting paid here for something you did but i feel like many of you will see your hard work pay back here 
seeing some money come your way we get more extra cards here for your finances but i do see here your hard work as well in any area of your life that you know you have put a lot of effort and energy maybe you are you know taking care of yourself taking care of your healing you know taking care of others i feel like you will be recognized you see your hard work payback you see some results of all the work had to be done you know so but it's still working hard it's still with a lot of focus of manifesting but you'll see the results sometimes they come slowly sometimes they come after challenges as well here with the six of atomists but it feels like this is a week of really cutting away things that did not serve you anymore being straightforward being honest with yourself whoever's there and seeing your hard work pay back here financial for many of you the hard work in any area that you have been putting your energy you will see it was not a waste of time so it feels like this is a week of seeing that and then keeping the momentum keep going because eight is the energy of you know the energy is moving here so it feels like it's a lot of movement in your life here and it feels very positive leaving behind again what was not serving let's see here for your love life whether you are in a relationship or not we do have uh, the five of wands the five of wands can be the energy of competition can be jealousy can be someone that is jealous you know about you and um, could be also energy of inner conflicts outer conflicts some people could be trying to tell you what to do or mend into your life here I feel like this energy the guides are telling you is step away from any conflict that, uh, you know, other people trying to maybe tell you what to do or what to do with your life, with your love life. You know, so just trust your intuition and stepping out of the whatever situation is going on in your love life right now. If it feels a bit overwhelmed, internal conflict, it's time to see things from outside looking in. The guides are telling you, imagine if you are giving an advice to a friend going through the same situation that you are going right now. So you can see things. A little bit outside because it's difficult many times when you're going through the situation ourselves so they're telling you whether you're in a relationship or not some inner conflicts outer conflicts you step out of it and look what have you learned with this how can you set boundaries with this and you're able here to really see a different perspective and see as well what are my lessons here remember this is a week of taking your lessons with you for your career finances you do have the lord of shadows this is the death card. This is the energy of transformation. Many of you could be making decisions this week here of changing something in your career, your finances, so you can see different results. You know, the death gives an opportunity for a rebirth. So I do feel like this energy of the week is really cutting away what's not serving. You know, this energy of the queen of atom is it's the queen of swords here for you to step into from the beginning of the week for a reason. You are changing things this week, guys. You are deciding, you are seeing clearly what's good for you and what's not good for you. So there could be things that uh, you were doing that you were not happy about. Could be in your career, your finances, things that did not help you here. And, the, and then you are really stepping into this energy of living behind. You know, you know you don't like that job anymore. You know you don't like maybe the environment, the people, what you're doing, or the way that you are manifesting your finances. You're not happy with your financial life right now whether you are working or not, what do you really want to manifest? Allow the transformation, allow the changes, allow to apply for something different, allow to try something different, try your own business. Don't be afraid of changes. Transformation here will allow you a rebirth. Okay, so the guides are telling you your career finances here this week, a door opening. No doubt that there's a lot of movement here. And an advice of the week here, it is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles many times is when we don't see that the solution is right there close to us. You see, she's feeling cold here, but the warmth, the, the fire is right there. She could turn around and walk to them, stay with them. But, you know, the energy here of not looking to the right direction, maybe some money worries for some of you. And the guides are telling you anything that you feel left out, you feel like, uh, why did this happen to me? How come this situation is happening? There's a solution right there. There's something that many times challenges can come with, uh, you know, a transformation of something much better. You see the transformation here of death and rebirth as well. So I feel like the guides are telling you the advice of the week is anything that you feel like, uh, you know, it was unjust or you feel like uh, it, it was a lot of challenges. You didn't know how to get out of the situation. It was difficulties. And they're telling you they're going to see a result after that. Your hard work will pay back. It will be a reason for everything. And I feel like it will be very clear in your mind. Why had to go through the situations that you had to go through? Why did this happen to you? Why, you know, you had to wait? You know, you understand everything. I feel like it's going to be a lot of clarity in your mind this week. And a lot of movement. Hard work payback, guys, no doubt. Yeah, let me get a couple of extra cards here for you. Any other focus, any advice here from the guide? 
no doubt an interesting week here, guys, for you, group one. We do have changes. What did they say? Yes. And you see here, with the energy of winter as well, this card here as well. So I do feel like this winter, guys, you know, this this week is starting some kind of door here for you, some kind of change, some momentum here, that uh, this winter, you will see things really different. Maybe you see different perspectives here of your situation and finding different ways to see this and learn with this and evolve. So don't be afraid of changes, the transformation here, especially many of you on your career finances, you know, ways for you to manifest money. Yeah, lots of changes here. Positive changes, guys, no doubt, okay? Don't be afraid of them. Anything else, group one? We do have challenges. What did I say about the challenges? Yes, some of you could be going through the challenges. Some of you could be thinking, why so many challenges? And understand here, focus on what are you learning with this? What are you learning about yourself, about other people, about what you like and dislike, what you really wanted to manifest? So the challenges are there for a reason. Use them as stepping stones for you to start evolving, growing. I feel like there's a lot of movement in your life here, guys, in different areas, love, life, career. You know, your way of seeing things this week can open beautiful doors. And winter time here is going to be a lot of changes for you. So go through the changes, trust the changes, Trust the universe is moving things around you for a reason. And I feel like it's for the best. Yeah, that's what I have here for you, group one. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose the Wizards Tarot, we start with Monday, Tuesday, or the first couple of days, whenever you're watching this, the next seven days. First couple of days on Monday, Tuesday, Ace of Cups, straight away. Halfway through the week, Wednesday, Thursday. We do have a Magician. Also, the weekend here, or the last few days, whenever you're watching this. King of Wands. Extra card here for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. You'll we'll see that in a bit. Extra card here for your career, finances, whether you're working or not. Also, an advice, a focus of the week, an energy of the week. We'll see that. Extra card here, I'm going to take us on a bit. But just to start, you can see here a week. Wow. Ace of Cups, Magician. King of Wands. A lot of strong cards here, guys. And you can see the beginning of the week, no, some kind of offer here that will resonate with your heart, with your emotions, with your healing. It could be a connection with someone, right? We do have here a strong energies coming here your way. We do have the King of Wands here. Maybe a King of Wands approaching you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. An energy of some kind of offer. And an offer that I feel like you're very content, you're happy about, you like what's coming your way. I feel like you'll be happy. You enjoy this. So some kind of offer, some kind of connection. Many of you for your love life, definitely with Ace of Cups. But Ace of Cups brings things that, you know, brings joy to your heart. It resonates with your heart. So you know that you're going to be happy about. So many of you could be, maybe it's a job offer, but it's something that you were waiting for a long time. Some kind of good news here, I feel. But many of you, a connection with the heart. Whether you are in a relationship or not, we're going to get extra cards here anyway. But maybe someone approaching you, you know, could be approaching you and um, confess their feelings towards you. And it could be someone trying to come back into your life, someone new into your life. Or even if you are in a relationship, you know, maybe having more time with your person. They are, you know, telling you how they feel here and be able to find that balance for both of you. This is also energies of healing. So if there was a need here to allow healing, I feel like this door opening here for your love life, for your healing, for things that will resonate with your heart. So good things, no doubt, coming away straight away in the beginning of the week. And we do have the Magician as well, halfway through the week. I feel like it's an energy for you to step on. Also, the energy of manifestation. So maybe you're working really hard here on manifesting something specifically. Maybe it's someone specific into your life. And you do have this connection. We are reading this on the Halloween weekend. So maybe you're setting a lot of intentions this weekend. And this is a week of you know, real and energetic you know, connections here with the divine, with the spiritual side that you could be really connecting here with uh, your person that you are in separation or you know in the 5d you're connecting so i feel like there's a lot of manifestations love life career something that you wanted to manifest maybe you were working hard and you didn't see the result yet 
this is a week that you see a lot of manifestation. And this is energy here with the magician, knowing that you have all the tools on your hands to manifest whatever you want. Maybe you are trying to really open doors here to change something in your life, to resolve something in your life. And it feels like this is the week that you can see that. And I feel like it's because you recognize your power. You recognize that you can do whatever you wanted to do. So I feel like you step into your power here this week, no doubt. We also have the King of Wands, which is a lot of fire energy. Like I said, maybe it's the one you're connecting with by the weekend. You could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is for you to step into this power as well. Male or female energy is for you to step into this fire, this focus. What do you want? You can manifest. You recognize this week. So I feel like this is the week that you know what you want. The heart's desires here. You know you can step into your power and manifest. It's a lot of focus here. Many of you could be you know, really connecting with the King of Wands. You know, as another person here. Could be your energy but also could be someone helping you guiding you it really is a connection here it feels like it's a lot of manifestations a lot of directions here if there was something that was you know in in our lives that we wanted to manifest but we don't know exactly how anything that was difficult to understand that foggy energy that you don't know all the doors how things are happening for you i feel like this is the week of you knowing having that focus that fire that passion you know what you want, you know you can achieve, you know you can do it, and you open this door. It doesn't mean like you have everything resolved and you have everything in one week, but it feels like you are opening this door here, no doubt, straight away, beginning of the week, because you're stepping into your power and you continue to this power throughout the week. So no doubt, it's a good energy here, guys. So let's get extra cards here for your love life, because it really feels like many of you are going to open, you know, a door for your love life here. We do have temperance. Yes, temperance is energy of Sagittarius as well, another fire energy, but also the energy of bringing balance into your life, allowing healing into your life. So many of you could be opening this door because you know you're allowing healing, you're allowing self-love as well. You're allowing to take care of yourself and then automatically getting ready for a connection. Whether you are already in a relationship or you want someone new into your life, I feel like it's a lot of balance, a lot of understanding, a lot of healing that is going to open this door here for you guys. So no doubt, very positive energy. Keep going on this you no, know, so don't let this momentum pass you by because it's going to be very important for you. Also for your finances, career, whether you are working or not, six of pentacles. So the pentacles energy, you can see here the money energy coming away. Also, the six of pentacles is because you feel very good about uh, being able to help someone, getting help as well. It's an exchange of good energy. And also, I feel like uh, you will see here, if you need help, someone is going to show up. Or if you needed to give help here, it's going to be an exchange here. You could be helping someone that helped you in the past. Or it could be that you need help someone here It's coming. So it really feels here that it's an exchange. And also helping each other to grow, to evolve, to manifest. It could be just a conversation with a friend that could give you an idea of something that you wanted to do. Maybe a business, a side business, an idea that can manifest your money. So pay attention to that because it feels like good exchange of energy that can manifest your money. Okay, so balancing as well. So a lot of balance here. And advice of the week, what the guys want to tell you, Knight of Swords. So the energy of the week, the advice of the week from the guys is go for what you want. Step, you know, into your power here. The Knight of Swords is going after what he wants. And it's really cutting away what's not serving. Any fears, any stress, any overthinking. It's just going with the momentum here. It feels like you really open a door here of things that maybe you were sleeping or it was slow in your life or things that were not moving. You feel like stuck. It feels like things are really starting to evolve and move here into your life in different areas. Love, life, career. And you see a lot of balance. You see a lot of healing as well. And I feel like you see a lot of direction. And you definitely step into your power here as the magician as well. Knowing you are manifesting all these blessings. You can manifest the life that you want. So very good week here, guys. I wanted to add a couple of extra cards here from the guides. What else do they want you to focus on or manifest? Anything else for group two? We do have uh, motivation. You see, it could be the motivation that you needed to manifest the life that you wanted, to do things that you wanted. Maybe some of you didn't feel any motivation lately. Because, like I said, it was a, an energy of stagnation or nothing moving here. And you really didn't see results of your hard work. This is the week that you see changing. And because you see all these changes, you see some results, you get motivated as well to keep going, to keep evolving. That's what I say. It feels like it's a door, but you keep a momentum here. You see the momentum of the Knight of Swords moving here. No doubt, a lot of action movement here for you guys. It's very good. Motivation here. 
anything else for group two we also have obstacles this is to understand guys obstacles are merely lessons are stepping stones for you to keep evolving growing maybe you had a lot of obstacles maybe you thought that you know how can i resolve this there's so many obstacles going on and they're telling you use the obstacles as lessons as lessons as as stepping stones what else can you do with the obstacles that happen did you learn anything about yourself about others about what is important for you there's a lot of focus here so don't leave anything stop you because this you see this knight of swords here jumping through any kind of obstacles so don't feel like anything is going to stop you Yes, there could be small things going on here and there, but do not let anything stop you. This is a door that you're opening of power, you know, of self-love, of opening doors here in different areas of your life. And you are manifesting blessings here. So hold on to the motivation. Don't let any obstacles stop you. And there's a lot of fire energy for you to step on. So don't miss that. Don't let anything stop you, guys. There's a lot of balance and blessings and healing that you are opening with everything. You definitely step into your power, guys. Okay, remember here with the magician, all the tools are on your hands, and you can see he has all the suits, he has the sword here to communicate to cut away what's not serving, he has the pentacles to manifest blessings, material needs, he has the cups to trust his feelings, his intuition, he has the wand to connect with the fire, the passion, the focus. So, use all the tools, you have it all in your hands, and you can manifest anything you want, resolve anything you want. This is a week of opening doors, no doubt. Yeah, that's what I have here for you, group two. I hope this helps you out resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. The crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video, it helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi, group three. If you chose the Everyday Witch Tarot, we start with the monday tuesday or the first couple of days we're we'll be watching this we do have uh, two of swords wednesday thursday or halfway through the week whenever you're watching five of cups and the weekend here sorry friday saturday sunday or the last few days whenever you're watching the boom i'm gonna get extra criteria for your love life whether you're in a relationship or not We'll see that in a bit also for your finances career whether you're working or not and uh, also an advice of the week energy of the week here i'm gonna get a couple of extra cards at the end but just to start here two of swords five of cups and the full interesting energy because it feels like the beginning of the week there's a hard decision here for you Something for you to decide, to make up your mind, but it has been hard. It may be something that you already know. You need to make a decision. You know something is not good for you anymore. You need to cut away from something. You need to just, you know, go for what is important for you, what is resonating with your heart, with your intuition. But it could have been a hard decision. And it feels like it's cutting away something because we do have the swords. Also communication. So the swords here, reaching out to someone. Being able to trust your intuition enough that you know this is the best thing for you. So it feels like it's a decision there, guys. And it could be something that you know already. You are procrastinating. You are pushing this energy away. You didn't want to make this decision. But you have to. And it feels like, uh, you know, being honest with yourself, whoever's involved there, is going to be very important. Because halfway through the week here, there's the energy of focusing a lot on the things that didn't work out or is not working out in your life. When the guide does say you need to focus, shift your energy, shift your focus here, there's still good things going on. You can see here she's crying about, you know, the cups that are spilled, you know, crying over spilled milk. And when there's so many good things going on here, there's still two cups up, there's still good things going on. So the guides are telling you, you will need to focus here on what is going on, that it's working out. The things that are still good in your life. There's need to focus on the good things. Many times we do want blessings. We do want manifestations. Good things come to us. But we keep focusing on what is negative. We keep focusing on the past. Or the things that didn't work. Things that are out of our control. Many, many times. So the guides are telling you. This is a week of focusing. Trusting your intuition. And focusing on what is good. And being able to cut away what's not serving. Even if you don't know all the answers of something here. You know in your heart. It's not serving you anymore. 
you will need to cut away communication be very honest with yourself this week because you do have an opportunity here comes the weekend that you jump in take a leap of faith and really change this energy of indecision of you know focusing on negativities and you can see here your opportunity your chance your door opening many of you could be traveling or making travel plans here this is taking a leap of faith and it doesn't mean like you know it, all the answers. You actually don't know, but you're trusting. The universe, the higher powers, the intuition that you know is taking you in this direction. So the guides are telling you focus on that. Because you do have uh, a lot of positivity that you can step into. And the fool is going with positivity in a new journey. And it's starting from zero as well. So maybe some of you are starting a new journey here in your love life, in your career. To not be afraid of that. To not be afraid of the unknown. To trust that it's supposed to be this way challenges difficulties you know happen for a reason and you know even if it's difficult to make this decision they're telling you if your heart is telling you do it focus on that some of you could be starting new here in a new place could be moving as well jobs houses relationships or just habits could be bad habits that you know they're not serving you and you keep you know making the same decision when you know you need to cut away with what's not serving could be just negativities things that are not serving or dependencies. So they're just telling you, don't worry about what you couldn't have done so far. You know, spilled milk, things that already happened in the past. You can't change the past, but you can change the present so you can manifest the future that you want. And so you can really step into the focus of the full here. Yeah, it really feels like a week of decision, guys, a week of letting go of what's not serving, jumping in, in a new journey, not being afraid of the new. Okay, so because it feels like it comes with blessings here. Let's get extra card here for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. We do have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, the energy of the air. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Page here is starting new. So it could be a new journey, could be a new person, could be getting to know someone, or just having more time here with the relationship you already have. It's starting some way. It's a journey. Also, like I just saying, pay attention on the communication here. Maybe you want to start a communication. could be slow, small steps towards communicating. Because the page is starting here, communicating with someone that it's new or you want back into your life or even the one you have in your life. But changing a bit the communication, maybe changing because you guys are having fights or challenges, difficult times and starting changing here so you can communicate better. Working on that, working on communication, honesty, be honest with yourself and the person that is around you or the person that you want back into your life or new into your life. So allow you here to, you know, step away from dramas. And communicate being honest is everything here this week for you it's going to help you to open doors it's starting new journeys here new doors no doubt also the connection with air signs okay so maybe it's you maybe it's your person and new here okay so don't be afraid of the new again here guys the full here going to new directions new options new choices yes new journey here for your career finances whether you are working or not we do have the tree of swords Maybe you are in a situation this week that uh, is not resonating with your heart anymore regarding your career, your finances here. Could be the environment. I feel like for many of you are in an environment or a job that you really don't, don't like anymore, don't enjoy anymore. Because the three of swords when it comes to career, finances, is something that is not resonating with your heart anymore. You want to cut away. Again, the honesty here, guys, is going to be important. Decisions. Maybe your hard decision here is in your career. Cutting away what's not serving or cutting fears of starting something new, starting your own business, starting some kind of a journey here for you. Trust again your intuition, trust your guides telling you it's okay to cut away and it's okay to trust when something is not resonating anymore. Try to understand why you don't like this job anymore, why you don't like what you're manifesting in your finances career right now. What can you do about it? What can you do different? Because you cannot just expect things to change if we are not changing. The decision, the truth sorts. If you make a decision, something starts taking a movement here. It feels like it, you can get stuck if you don't make a decision. It's a lot of swords, it's a lot of thinking, you know, being rational about it, stepping from dramas. Yeah, very interesting here. And the advice of the week or the energy of the week, the guys are telling you, you have the sun. That's beautiful because, you know, the sun bring, brings you that clarity of mind as well. And I feel like many of you need that this week. To make a decision to trust the changes to start anew to not be afraid of making a decision and cutting away so the guides are telling you any fears any stress any procrastination or making a decision 
just trust here the sun the energy the guides are telling you this is the energy of the week the advice of the week trust on the happiness that is going to come the blessings that are going to come the doors that are going to open for you so they're telling you you have a lot of blessings doors here for you no doubt do not miss these opportunities because of fears and they're telling you you have a chance to open here there's a lot of blessings waiting for you so trust when you have to cut away from something that's not serving yes no doubt a week of decisions guys so don't miss these changes here these opportunities i wanted to add a couple of extra cards here for you anything else for you to focus for you to think about here group three we do have opportunity you see here with the full what did i say about the starting you have a chance an opportunity to start new to jump in take a leap of faith don't be afraid, guys, of cutting away because your opportunity is going to open. You have the sun, the blessings, the happiness waiting for you. New journeys, love life, career. It feels like there's a lot of new here for you guys and starting from zero. Trust the process. Opportunities opening for you, no doubt. Anything else here for group three? We also have clouded. What did I say about the sun? Bringing you clarity of mind. Many of you could be clouded right now, could be finding hard to make that decision, the two of swords, holding back. You see, she is blindfolded here. So maybe some of you are not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing that the opportunity is right there. Your cups that are up, the good things that you can focus on are right there. It feels like your solution is closer than you realize. It could have been feeling like challenges or difficult times here, but they are telling you, you have this. You have a lot of blessings waiting for you. So cutting away. Trust in the intuition here. Your opportunity is going to come here. No doubt, guys. So don't miss this. It's ready for you. Yeah, that's what I have here for your group three. I hope this helps you out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see in front of you and much more is there. If you want to connect with me through Patreon as well, the links are below. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching.